All right. So today is September 6th. Happy September, everyone. Um, welcome to our Zoom call. I wanted to start off by um, congratulate, congratulating Maria Hayden for already making it to the $1,000 Club, and it's only the 6th of the month. She is killing it. And um, as you all know, she worked really hard to earn that t-shirt come month's end. So I don't know how she pulled off $1,000 in the last six days. So she's just really, really rocking her business right now. So yay. Thanks. It's been a fun day. <laughs> um, so I wanted to share three things really quickly. And then I'm going to open it up. Oh, hi, Sarah. Yay. You get to join us. Um, I want to share three quick things and then I'll let you guys ask questions. But the first thing that I keep telling Maria and some other people I'm going to share um, is how I'm working my shipping on all the extras that people pre-order for a workshop. So some people wanted to know my system for that. And the system that I've been using for that has been working really well for me. And I know there are other ways to do it, but I'm just going to share the way I do it. So I still use my Google Doc um, and let people register, and I still promote the sauce bundle and half-off specials, and if they want anything else, they can tag it on to the order. Um, and then what I do is I get an order form, you know, just our order forms, and I fill out an order form for each person that orders something, that pre-orders something. So if they wanted some oil and a skillet meal, I just put their name. I put Kathy Lee skillet meal oil on their order form. I pre-order the kit, and then I don't order anything else. So I'm only charging her for the kit. She might write in that she owes you know ninety five dollars and eighty cents, but really, um, I only charge her eighty five eighty. Then when I get to the workshop and I give everybody their packets with the page protectors, I make sure Kathy Lee gets her order form with her name on it and what she pre-ordered. And I just let her know, I said, oh my gosh, thank you for your pre-order. Just want to let you know that's going to um, ship with tonight's order and it's going to come right to your door. So you won't have to lug it home tonight. Nothing extra you have to deal with. And um, if there's anything else you want to add on, it'll probably save you on shipping as well. So just add on, um, this is your wish list, you know, just like I do with, with everybody. So um, that has been working amazingly for me. Number one, every single person for the past six workshops has ordered more than what they wanted when they pre-ordered because they hear me talk about all the other amazing things that they can get. And um, number two, they're kind of cool with not lugging home extra stuff. They already have their meals and the kits, and they're kind of just like, yep, great. That's shipping right to my house. Fantastic. That's awesome. So um, that's been working out really, really well. As far as shipping goes on that, um, you know, no one's really complained about um, the shipping costs. You know, if somebody really, really wants, let's say, Kathy Lee really only wanted a skillet meal and an oil, and she didn't want to add on, and those were the only two extras she wanted, I usually ask my hostess, I say, hey, do you see Kathy Lee a lot? And if they do, then I just say, do you mind if me just tacking on her couple of products? It'll help save her a little bit of shipping. Um, then I only have to charge her 10% and have it all because my hostess is going to get you know a bunch of stuff shipped to her anyway with her free stuff and anything else she wants so I can tack it on to my hostess's order only charge her the 10% shipping and then they can work it out and usually they're totally cool with that if they want like a half off bundle and a skillet meal and a taco seasoning then I just go ahead and charge the $6.95 shipping and nobody has batted an eye nobody knows the shipping costs anyway. They they are always asking me what's the tax and what's shipping, and then they got all excited. I'm like, oh, there's no tax. It's just shipping, and I just fill it out for them. The only people I really give a deal to are the people that just want two or one thing, 
Then I just tack it on to my hostess's order and charge them the 10%. Does that make sense to everybody? In your um, registration forms before, you used to say, add it now and get free shipping. Mm -hmm. uh, do you still do that? So you kind of... I have not tweaked shipping. my verbiage. I've thought about tweaking my verbiage on that. Um, but I, I kind of am like... I, I'm give, still giving them free shipping if they did pre-order a bundle. Okay. But for reps that aren't making 40%, that might not be something you want to offer. Um, I still think you're going to get people that want to order it. I don't think that that's what hooks people in, but it might be. That's why I haven't taken it out yet. And I'll still honor that. But most of the time, those people that pre-order the half-off bundle, they want like another half-off bundle mm -hmm. and a taco seasoning. And people are just ordering like crazy. Yeah. So I'm kind of like, well, they're going to have to pay shipping anyways or I'll only charge them 10% and save them two bucks. And I don't care about $2 if they're right. ordering all that extra stuff. Does that cool. make sense? Yeah. So yeah, mine still says that you could take it out. You can leave it in. I'm just leaving that up to everybody. I did that exact same thing in my workshop in the beginning of August and people did add on a lot of extra stuff. Like they got two bundles because they spent a hundred dollars and stuff. So. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, thanks for sharing. So I think that really, really works. Um, another thing that you can do, which I'm just now learning, is let's say you're going to go place the order for your workshop kits only. You um, can place that workshop order, but then you can use the link button to link to your website, to the hostess's name, and or all the extras if you wanted to. So let's say you had a conglomerate of just stuff you needed to order. You could do that and have it shipped to your host. I don't know. I think that would – I haven't done that yet. That I, I hear in the wild free world that's what other people are doing, and that guarantees that the kits get to the hostess. But then I don't know when all that other product gets to the hostess, and I'm kind of in the – camp of if it's not going to get to the hostess the day of the workshop then I don't want it to go to the hostess at all because I don't want her to have to make a bunch of deliveries if she doesn't really want to if I haven't asked her that does that make sense well if you did that you'd have to collect credit card numbers too wouldn't you yeah you would have to collect credit card numbers or you could email the link to the person who pre-ordered and said hey just add this stuff to your shopping cart and check out but to me that's just like a lot of trouble for not not what it's worth because like I said the way I'm doing it's working like gangbusters mm -hmm. so if you do that then if there's any orders that night you've already linked it and you can't relink it right no see now you can there's a party order link within the order form now within the order in the back office when you click on it it literally takes them to your website mm -hmm. and it puts it right under that host name without having they don't have to do a search or anything. It literally goes right to Susie Hostess, and it ships automatically. As soon as you check out, it goes into their shipping, um, and it doesn't close the party order. Hmm. So you could use that for a lot of different instances. Um, like, for instance, I used it recently when um, I have a workshop coming up on the 11th, and two of the girls cannot be at the workshop. So the, their orders need to be... Um, ship directly to them, and they pre-ordered a bunch of stuff. So I was able to put their whole order onto the host's order, but still have it shipped separate to them, and it all still links to my hostess, but my party order is still open, so I can still link it later. Does that make sense? So now those girls that aren't going to be there get all their stuff in one shipment. So that works out really well for the guests that can't be at the workshop who pre-ordered some extras. Does that make sense? I will show you, I'll try and do a screenshot of where that link is and all, you guys are gonna look, when I screenshot it for you guys, you're all gonna go, oh my gosh, that's been here the whole time and I never <laughs> knew it. It's like. Oh, oh I just found out about mind. it today. That was what? like, the most, I just found out about that today when I called FSS this yeah. morning. It has changed my life. 
Like seriously, I feel like it makes it so much easier. Like if somebody has a last minute entry, you know, last minute order that you didn't get in with the party and you can just do it without, you can order it without closing the party. It's amazing. Yeah. It is amazing. I yeah, no idea. <laughs> shipping, a good amount of shipping time and you have a couple people add on like Maria did. She was able to just go ahead and order those two extra bundles, check out, the host gets the credit, and the order is still open. You know, Marie, one thing I was thinking about, could you place your order, like your initial bundle order, just the workshops, and then go in and do that for like those extra, for like the people who did order the half price bundle? Like I see what you're saying, and I like that. Like for the people who are expecting, and then just have it sent right to their house, and then at the workshop not have to deal with that at all. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you could. The problem, the only issue with that is, is um, when you get to the workshop, if then they want even more, they kind of get a double whammy of shipping. Yeah. Okay. I guess I was still with you offering the free shipping. And so that would have. Right. Right. Yeah. It, it helps. If you are offering free shipping, if they order more at the workshop, just to kind of do it all at once, mm -hmm. and that might save you as well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you could potentially do that. Mm -hmm. So does anybody kind of, is anyone unsure of where that button is? Should I go ahead and post a picture to the LIT? I can't find it. I just went over and, and went to an order to try to look around for it and couldn't find it. I don't know. I know. But, when okay. I show it to you, you're going to be like, Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm going to die. Yeah. Make sure Jack, you had to link the parties first too. Like you have to make sure you link the tasting to the freezer mirror workshop. For, oh. right, Maria? No, not for this. As long oh, as you have the freezer mirror workshop set up under the host name, there's like a little, I don't know what it says exactly. I can't remember it right off the top of my head. It says click this for a party link or something like that. And when you click it, it literally takes you to your website under that host's name. Because as soon as you create a freezer meal workshop, you don't know it, but you're, it's, it's in your um, website. Like if somebody was shopping and trying to find Susie Hostess, they, could. they would be able to find her mm -hmm. automatically without you setting anything up. As long as you have the freezer meal workshop set up. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So it's pretty cool. Um, but like I said, my system's really working for the extra sales, but that is definitely a, a, a great for what Maria was talking about. And just if you need to finagle some things and ship some things separately, it's definitely a good thing. Cool. I can't wait to see it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So that's that. The second thing. Oh, um, the three questions at checkout. So as I've been doing my coaching call, calls over the last week, I started gathering some information from all of you leaders and LITs, and you all have been sharing with me what's really been working. And one person shared that she really liked my three ways, or three questions at checkout. Like it really helped her um, with the checkout process. The checkout process, as you all know, is so, so important, and it's probably the hardest part of a workshop, and I definitely feel like when I started using the three questions at my checkout, it was a game changer for me, and when I got away from using those three questions at checkout, my sales went down, my recruiting went down, and my bookings went down. So all of a sudden it dawned on me that, oh my gosh, use those three questions again. That's what I, when I was doing so well, that's what I was doing. And as soon as I started doing that again, my sales went up, my recruiting went up and my bookings went up. So I can't stress enough. And I know Katie Lepton is the person who shared this tip. She decided to try the three questions and she loved it. She said it gave her a little bit, bit of confidence um, and just kind of a little routine in her mind that she knew she had to go through when she talked to each person so she didn't get as flustered. She just knew, okay, when I go talk to Kathy Lee, I just say, so do you have any interest in learning more about the Wild Tree Opportunity? And then you zip it and you let them answer you. 
you're going to be shocked, you guys, by what some people say. Some people are just going to laugh at you and say no. And mm-hmm. some people are going to go on and on about you, just listen to what they have to say. Some people are just going to shock you. And it's going to plant seeds for people. And the people that go, oh, no, I don't really have time, are going to email you a week later and go, I think I want to do this. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then the second question you ask after that question is, um, do you have any interest in having a workshop of your own? And zip it and hear what they have to say about that. And then if you need to overcome some objections, you can. We've all heard what most of those are. And then um, the, the last thing is, okay, well, have you used your 50% off coupon tonight? And it's like, oh, right, I forgot about that, my 50% off coupon. Or, oh, yeah, I want two of those. I, and, you know, and they're, they're going to have their order form there, so it's probably going to be pretty obvious if they've used it or not. But if they haven't used it, remind them that they get to use it. That doesn't mean they didn't want one. It means they forgot about their coupon. So does that make sense? All right, so don't forget to do that at your workshops. Give it a try. At first, you're going to just have butterflies in your stomach, and you're going to, it's not going to be the most comfortable thing you've ever done in your life, but after you do it, you're going to go, oh my gosh, that was really easy, and it gained me some results. So, Can you do the first one again? Yeah, the first one is, so do you have any interest in learning more about the Wild Tree Opportunity? And you guys, I have their customer care form right in front of me. I can see that they circled a zero <laughs> or a one or they circled a 10 and they didn't know what they were circling. Um, but I'm going to ask that question anyway because I'm the target checkout girl and my boss is going to fire me if I don't say it. And so the more you say it, the easier and easier and easier and easier it becomes. That's why you have to tell yourself you'll be fired if you don't say it because then it just becomes a habit. And it doesn't feel hard at all. I could say it now to 100 people that would walk through my house. It's no big deal. But it's, it was hard at first. <laughs> I was so excited the first night I did it. I was patting myself on the back. and Nobody joined my team. <laughs> Actually, the hostess did join my team because I asked her. She joined a week later. But not that night. Nobody told me yes that night. Nobody's probably going to. Does that make sense? All right. Um, other thing. Oh, hey, yeah. Maria. Yeah. You, you've been updated customer care form. Are you still using the one? That um, the I think I posted an updated one to the group. Okay. To this group. So look in the files. Okay. I'm pretty sure I did. If I didn't, call me out on it and I'll, I'll post it. But I'm pretty sure I did. I think I have the latest one you post. Okay. I'll look. Yeah. Okay. I love that one. I've been, I've been literally loving it. It's the one with the dates on it, right? It's the one with the months on it. October. It is, but I actually, it's it's very updated. It's like updated as in this as from August. Oh, okay, all right. So um, it's got that, and it's got a couple other additional questions under the um, opportunity part. Okay, that lends itself to those five reasons why people would want to join Wild Tree. So it really makes sense with the, all the lingo and verbiage we're using at the workshop. So it's okay. it's really good. I probably okay. won't ever change it. The only thing I added to that one, unless you posted it too with that, is I added the line that said, um, if your hostess decides to join, would you have a party for her? Remember one of our old oh, forms? Right. That? And because that goes along with the email then that Sonara has given us that tells them, look, all these people said yes, that could mean this much money. You know? Oh, right. From the onboarding? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I added that line just so they could click check yes or no to that question. Got it. Oh, I that's good. It. I can post it. If Does that all fit? Nice. Yeah, I maneuvered it a little bit to make it fit. Okay. So I'll awesome. post it. Yeah, post that too for everyone. That'd be great. So my last thing that I wanted to share um, was something Jacqueline brought up today. Um, on our call and it was that she's really um, focusing a lot on remembering that she needs to go through her contact list of a hundred and ask her friends to help her support 
and grow her business. Um, a lot of what we've in, we're encouraging new reps to do is to, when they're launching their business, is to ask their friends if they will support them and have their first few parties for them. And that can go for the very seasoned rep as well. Jacqueline's been with the company for a couple of years now, but she's in a new area and she has still has, is working through her contact list of 100. And she thought, why am I not asking my friends to help support me? She's using that language. Will you help support, my, um, help support me while I grow my business? Um, or what else did I write down? Um, would you do me a favor and um, support me as I grow my business? This is going to be so much fun for you. And you may have to list what's in it for them, you know, free product, healthy meals in their freezer, or if they're just having a tasting for you, hey, I'm going to make it really easy. I'll give you the menu. I'll give you the whale tree products. We'll have some wine. It's going to be so much fun. You're going to get so much free product, like $100 in free product. You want to do me a favor and help support me as I grow my business. So many friends, when you put it to them that way, are absolutely willing to support you for your business. I actually was onboarding a new rep on Thursday, and as I was talking to her, I was encouraging her to do this. I said, before you even launch, she doesn't even didn't even have her launch date set. I said, can you think of some people that would love to have a party for you and support you as you grow your business. And she's like, oh yeah, I can think of some friends. And she literally got out a piece of paper and started writing some names down. And she emailed me over the weekend and she said, oh my gosh, my friend Holly said yes, she'd have a party for me. Um, my office mate, she's going to have a party for me October 6th. She's literally got dates for her parties before her launch date was even set. That is going to give her so much confidence and so much momentum going forward. I think when we were onboarding people before, we were so set on their launch dates, like, okay, we need launch dates, what are your two launch dates? Um, and that's still so important for them to get you their dates, and she did get me her dates, but she needed to reach out to friends so that they could support her business. Um, that is huge, and you all can do it too. It doesn't have to just be somebody who's brand new. I am sure you've all got people that maybe in the past said, oh yeah, I'd love to hear more about your business. Or um, maybe they said they'd host for you, but it's been a year, a year has gone by. And in your mind, you're thinking they don't really want to help you, but they do. You just haven't asked them again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I reached out to two of my best friends, three of them this afternoon and I have, you know, many more, but two of them wrote back. So we're, and we're working on figuring it out, which awesome. they've been working on it for a year, you know, yeah. and right. okay, now we're really, I, I kind of switched it up and asked for help. Really? Yeah. Ask for help. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with asking for help at all. The worst they can say is no. Yeah. They already, it's already a no if you never asked them anyway. And then didn't you say that you're supporting a friend and then she, you got all these RSVPs? Tell yeah. Them story. Yeah, yeah. So I'm having a little um, like mimosas and makeup, we're calling it, get together for a friend who just started um, with Beauty Counter. And um, I've been trying to get people interested. We've been trying to do maybe like some Wild Tree Beauty Counter combo things. And I told her, I said, let's just do this one for you. Um, and, um, I switched it up. I changed our invite and then I posted and said to my friends and I reached out, I kind of host coached myself, you know, for them and reached out via text and personal private message and said, I'm trying to help my friend Lindsay with beauty counter, get her business off the ground. And I'm really love the products. I'm really excited to share them with you. You know, wondering if you would like, if you could come by and, and help support her and that just that message and just that text got people to RSVP on Facebook and write back and say that they're, um, that they're, that they're trying to come. They want to come. They're interested in beauty counter. What is beauty counter? I mean, it generated so much conversation between people that I thought already knew that I was trying to do that. Like, isn't it obvious that I'm trying to do that? And, and it's not because no. I had to put it that way. You have to use the word support, help, do me a favor. Yeah. You have to be so obvious with people. Yeah. Like you would think, wouldn't it be obvious if you have a party for me that you're helping me in my, my business? But they, 
they don't get it unless yeah. you say it. Yeah. So that was awesome. All right, so those were the ahas that I got from all kinds of other people. What about anyone that's on our call tonight? Any ahas or questions or anything that's working really well that you'd like to share with the group? It can be the teeniest little tip. We'll, we'll take it, we eat it up. Can you guys all hear me? Because my computer's saying it's shaky. Does anybody have anything that they want to add before we go? 